Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to our look at the newest campaign in the third-person submarine simulation game, Cold Waters. This brand new campaign brings the war from Europe during the Cold War out to the Pacific during the early 2000s, sort of the rise of China, uh, sort of the stagnating of the United States, and the, uh, the sort of hypothetical conflict between existing superpower and rising superpower. Uh, in our last video, we successfully dropped a second SEAL team on a beach in Hainan, and we also successfully interdicted uh, Russian supplies that were being transferred to the Chinese, although we may have also committed war crimes because we sank two merchant ships and only one of them was apparently the target. Uh, not sure, haven't received my letter in the mail to tell me that uh, we've done anything wrong yet, uh, but we'll see how things play out in this next video. This was taken from a live stream from a few days ago, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and step out and turn it back over to myself. We are picking up right at the conclusion of the last battle, uh, which was the sinking of that supply ship and a Chinese submarine, and we'll see how things evolve from there. But I'm going to go ahead and step out. I hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and as always, leave me your thoughts below. Wait new orders. Ships turn and run. A spokesman for U.S. naval operations today revealed that an enemy resupply convoy had been successfully repelled by a naval blockade of Qingdao, China. The fighting was intense, with numerous vessels sunk. The success of recent U.S. naval operations continues to have a significant and lasting impact on the ground war. Initial suggestions that the role of the Navy in this conflict will be limited, at best, have been proven wrong. Satellite photos show that an enemy battle group armed to the teeth with crews... Oh, uh, God. It would have been useful to have those tomahawks in this upcoming mission, I'm sure. Uh, an enemy battle group armed to the teeth with cruise missiles is preparing to sail from Kamran. Intelligence estimates that it will make a, con conser a conservative patrol in the vicinity of the North Pacific. Locate this group and sink as many ships as possible. Previous recon indicates the force will contain at least one or two ships armed with anti-cruise anti-ship cruise missiles. Consider these your primary targets. Enemy escort of surface combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. Well, we've still got enough weapons to deal with this thing, so... Continue on course. Swing south toward Kamran Bay. And move to intercept. You can see one of the three icons that represent the Spratly Islands has turned red due to the invasion. Now the question is, where is the damn surface vessels? Intelligence said they'd be over this way. Oh shit, I'm going fast. <sighs> yeah, that's the thing I don't understand is why are the Ch why is the Chinese navy using Kamran Bay? That seems unlikely. In recent political developments. At least from ultra quiet, at least so we can load our torpedo tubes. Romeo. Um, well, there's a Romeo for sure. Haven't seen the cruise missile sub yet, or cruise missile warship yet. Uh, Hong Fang, if that's what it really is, is... 
Just a torpedo, torpedo boat, really. Doesn't carry any missiles. Don't appear to be enemy aircraft in the area, though. That's interesting. This is Romeo moving. Depth. God damn it. Let's get a little bit of speed. Try and split the difference and go between these two? I don't know what their detection radius is. A load of moss in here. See if the torpedo shifts in. He's going active, but he appears to be going past us. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. Con sonar, torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water, bearing. Two, two, six. Whew. All right, that one missed. Turn back the other way. Need the damn boat up. Don't want that thing in front of me because it makes my noisemakers less accurate. Shit. Whoa! Oh. It's the Jet Fighter Sam Avoidance game. All right, so we got the we got the bastard. Passing 600 feet. Make turns for two zero not maneuvering. Oh, eye. not the direction I want to go. Con maneuvering, making turns for two zero not. Can we form a knuckle yet? Actually, those torpedoes seems to be mostly staying behind us now. Make turns for three, three knot, maneuvering eye. Con, knuckle form. Knuckle! Which I assume is just another kind of noisemaker. All right, let's see where we're at here. One torpedo circling in our wake. There's a ways off. Slow down to 15 knots. So we're at 623 feet. We've sunk one enemy submarine. We know there's got to be more enemy surface warfare vessels. But over there, we assume there must be. Hey, no name. All right, so one enemy vessel sunk. The layer at strong duck layer at 200 feet. Let's jump above the layer. Make speed for five knots. We're gonna go slow, but I want to get a little bit above the layer to see if I can detect anything up there. If 
expect anything else? Is it really just the Hung Feng? I mean, that Hung Feng can't be worth a torpedo, can it? It's a fucking trawler. Never mind. It's not even something we'd want to consider. Hell. I suppose this might not actually be the task force. Imagine if it was, we would have detected more than this. Yep, that's all there was. Single Romeo. God damn it, we're going to be in another battle with more enemy submarines. This is not our mission, I don't think, anyway. We just saw an enemy wolf pack close in with us, so it's going to eat more of our torpedoes. Get a better fix on these before I bother trying to figure out who they are. Shit. Well, obviously, he's not friendly. I'm pretty confident in my own torpedo's ability to find him just by shooting down his bearings. Get a moss out and see if they pick on that. Try and duck back around. No shit. Noisemaker's not going to do much if I haven't, uh... Con, sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing. One, one, eight. It's a lot of torpedoes. Con, fire control. We've lost the wire. Yeah, we're going to lose the wire. That's fine. No! Good God. Level out. Thought that thing was. Thought that thing had us for sure. Still might. Make turns for three, three knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing nine hundred feet. Twenty degrees up on the bow plane. Whatever, however you say that. All right. So there are three enemy torpedoes out here. I'm really hoping my my ad cap does something. It doesn't seem to be. Damn, that Ming is tricky. Dive. Con, knuckle forms. Passing four hundred feet. Passing five hundred feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing seven. Oh my god, look at this angle that we're going down. Probably need to level off a bit. We're gonna Frickin' nosedive in the bottom of the seafloor if we're not careful. Alright. Level the fuck out. So apparently my torpedo did not get the Ming. Just kind of merrily going its own way.
Alright. Something blew up. Not my head cap yet. Oh, he's shooting. Nice. So the Ming is shooting at our... Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. The Ming just shot at our decoy. I've never seen that happen before. Fuck yeah. Oh, he's wiring it in on us. He heard our launch transient, I'm guessing. But I've never seen them shoot on the decoy. Interesting. That torpedo's going into homing mode. Why are you not detecting anything? Got a pretty good fix on the damn thing. Is the enemy sub? That's the other question. Be below or above? Con, torpedo room, two, four, ready. Ming is like invisible. Noisemaker bearing one. We're getting the noisemakers, but we can't detect the damn thing itself. Con, there we go. Weapon acquired. There he is. No. Don't go around the damn boat. I'm in right behind it. Ignore the damn noisemaker. Alright. Alright, you should have him now. Got him! Nice! Not turn that way. All right, so we detected other Sierras up here in the north. Presumably those are more enemy subs. You don't hear us. Nobody hears us. Just be quiet now. All right, let's figure out who these guys are. Of course it would be a merchant. Alright, well let's just leave then. One enemy sub was all that there was, and it was sunk. A Ming. It was not the objective of your orders. You're absolutely right, sir. It was not. But I have not seen an enemy surface convoy anywhere for us to engage yet. I want to fail my mission just because I haven't... Uh, Discouraged to hear you lost this opportunity against such a high priority target. Better luck next time. Any presence in this area will likely hinder Transpacific. Oh, come on. We never even picked up the damn convoy. 
Chinese strike group operating unopposed in the North Pacific have sunk an undisclosed number of merchant vessels escorting warship and escorting warships. NATO spokesmen admit this strike group poses a major threat to all shipping in the region and that prior efforts to intercept it had failed. Uh, has discerned a pattern of movements to have enemy to sea, replenishment tankers and tenders. Small number of enemy for uh, blah. Small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Ningabu momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in the East China Sea. You are ordered to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at enemy warships. This group is intended to support, but tenders and tankers are the mission target. Where is that again? Uh, Ningabu, right? Which is where? Hey, the fuck in the north. All right, well, we'll head that way. Into the East China Sea we go in shallow waters. Great. My hands man your battle stations. I didn't pick anything up. Is it really, though? I don't think it's a Zia class SSBN. That seems unlikely. Right. If we get a better fix on the Zio or whatever the hell it is. Con sonar, Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. That makes more sense. All right, it's the usual game. Time to play dodge, dodge the torpedo. Making turns for one zero knots. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing zero three four. Contact is in the baffle. Oh, they just. Flew by each other. Mine going up north, his going up south. Cod, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. I don't know what weapon countermeasure homing means. Other than presumably the weapon prevented us from. Acquiring the target. Why is the Han so close to the surface? It's a freaking nuclear boat. Enemy banana torpedo. Oh shit. God damn you, banana torpedoes. Pretty good at not like falling for the uh, decoy quite as effectively as I would like. I use that uh Make turns for three, three knots. Maneuvering eye. I use that decoy way too soon. Con, knuckle forms. 
Knuckle gonna do anything for me? No. Damn it! Leave combat, quick! Alright, we're gonna have to abandon our mission. We sank the Han. But I can't go to... I can't in good conscience try and engage an enemy task force with a 30% hull. Ugh. All right, so, so far we've sunk, we've accomplished three missions, including two insertions. Uh, five subs sunk, one merchant sunk, 33,000 tons total. I feel like your CO wouldn't tell you any mission you walk away from as a success. If, uh, if you were failing in this way. Enemy commandos will land in the vicinity of the Spratly Islands. Within the next week, you're ordered to intercept and eliminate them before they land. Okay. That is the type of mission that I am comfortable doing. Thank you for the cheer, Mr. Scarlet Taco. To refresh my luck. Very well. Load back up. Hopefully we don't take too long loading our shit. Take us 34 hours in port. I mean, I guess when you consider we had to repair the hull, too. That's kind of realistic. All right, so... Cast off, anchors away. Spratly Islands is where we need to go. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. Let's take a look at the summary so far. 14 days at war. You fool, you've killed us all. All right, folks, that's going to do it for yet another episode of Cold Waters and the South China Sea campaign. Uh, so far, relatively so good. We did just fail that mission because we retreated to harbor to get ourselves repaired because we were damaged by our own carelessness and foolishness. With that being said, uh, we're still alive, which is more than we could say our first time around with a sea wolf. So I'm getting a little bit of uh, getting a little bit of a hang of of this, and hope to see more success next time around. But until next time around, this is the Historical Gamer saying, as always, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for the continued support of the channel. And until next time, I'm out.